Welcome to Elmaven's first demo video. Elmaven is an open source LCMS data processing engine that is optimal for isotopomer labeling and untargeted metabolomic profiling experiments. Elmaven exists as a desktop application that runs on Windows, Ubuntu, and Mac. The software can be used to view the mass spectra, align chromatograms, perform peak detection and alignment for labeled and unlabeled mass spectrometry data. The aim of the software package is to reduce complexity of metabolomics analysis by using a highly intuitive interface for exploring and validating metabolomics data. This is the first screen that you see after you launch the application. This is your sample space. This is your EIC window. This is your widgets bar. And this is your EIC windows menu. Global settings can be changed by accessing the options dialog. You can see nine tabs here for different settings. You can set each one of them by going to its particular tab. If you want to read more about each of these settings, you can go to the GitHub page of Elmaven and access the wiki. You should read Introduction to Elmaven UI for greater details of each of these settings. Once you are done, you can just cross it out and perform your analysis. I'm now going to upload my samples. The data I'm going to use uh, has been produced by Rabinowitz Lab at Princeton. There are 16 samples here. I'm going to upload the MZXML file format data. You can see the status of your upload here. Once the samples have been uploaded, they will appear in sample space. If you cannot see this it, at your first try, you can go to show samples widget and just click on it to make it appear and disappear. Once this is done, you can go to the compounds tab and select one of the preloaded compound list. You can also upload one by clicking here and selecting one file. This file can be in CSV or tab format. I'm going to run with the nodes compound list. The EIC window shows the plot of intensity versus retention time over a range of M by Z. There's also a feature for alignment of peaks. This feature allows for correction of drift in retention time that occurs due to prolonged use of LC column. These are all the settings for it. You can change the algorithm from this drop down and run your alignment. This is the alignment visualization. It gives a sense of the deviation from median retention time of all the peaks in this group. Read more about this visualization, you can go to Elmaven Wiki and read the introduction to Elmaven UI document. I'm going to remove this visualization for simplicity. Um, once I am done with this, I'll, I can go to Peaks and uh, choose to perform my peak detection. The first setting here is for untargeted analysis. If I check this mark, the application will not use this compound list to detect the groups and the EICs in the samples I uploaded. If I check this box, the application will use RT information present in my compound list to identify my metabolites. I can go to isotope detection options and check boxes for labels I have used in my data. If it's a labeled carbon-13 experiment, I'll check these options. If I want to detect all the labels that are present here, I'll check mark all the elements. If it's if you do not want to perform 
isotopic detection you can just uncheck report isotopic peaks here and Enlaven will not detect the labels for you. Once you are done setting all these parameters you can just click on find peaks and Enlaven will find peaks for you really fast. These are the metabolites that Enlaven has detected for my samples. There are around 80 metabolites. I can go to each click on each metabolite here and assess their EICs in this window. This is clearly a very noisy peak. I would not want to process it further and therefore I can just remove it or mark it bad. For marking a peak bad, I can click on this here or I can just press B on the keyboard which will mark this group as bad for me. Yes. I can name uh, my MC, my project as anything. All my curated data will be saved in this project file. This is an M0 format. Then I go to the next metabolite and this looks like a good peak so I can mark it as good. I can also use the keyboard uh, shortcut which is G for marking a peak as good. Similarly, I can go to the next compound and assess all the peaks in the data. Once I have curated all my data, I can export it in any number of formats from this panel. You can see here. I can generate a PDF report. I can export a CSV. I can export a JSON, etc. If I have to save a CSV, I'll click on this and choose to export my data. I can just um, export the selected groups or I can export all the groups or only the good groups or the bad groups. I'll export all the groups for the purposes of this demo. I can choose from any number of formats to save this. We generally save in this format over here so i'm going to use this and i can name this file anything and just click on save i can see my total line chromatogram with this button i can see my isotope plot from this widget i have not detected isotope for my peak detection this time so I don't see anything. I can look at my mass spectra by clicking on mass spectra widget. So you can see all the mass spectras in this window. So this is all for the first demo video. As I said earlier to read more to read in more detail about any of these widgets or settings you can go to the Elmhaven wiki. There you can go to this document called Introduction to Elmaven UI. All the parameters in much greater details in this document. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.